You see, it was only when Joshua did all these things, it was then and only then that Joshua would be prosperous and be successful. The then, verse 8, says here, then you will be prosperous and successful. That then indicates a condition. Then is a condition. So what it's saying there is that obey the laws of God, obey the commands of God, then you will be prosperous and successful. Not the other way around. We have to, first of all, walk in obedience to the words of God, be in the words of God, and then we'll have the blessings of God. We see that Joshua's spiritual success was conditional upon a number of things. Number one, his observance of God's law, his trust in God's law, and his obedience to God's law. His success was conditional upon his observing God's law, trusting God's law, and being obedient to everything that the Lord had commanded him to do. Similarly, for us, our spiritual success and our walk with God is largely conditional also upon how seriously we take the word of God and how much of his word we allow to sink through our hearts and impact our lives. <clears throat> Remember what we read in the beginning, your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. The Word of God is a compass. It's a spiritual compass that's meant to help us to navigate our way in this world so that we may be in eternity with the Lord. Now, given how important the Word of God is, one would expect that believers and Christians will be spending more time in the Word of God. But sadly, that is not the case. Unfortunately, it is not the case. According to a Lifeway research study that was done last year on uh, American Christians, it is sad to say that only 24% of American Christians, only 24% of American Christians engage with Scripture, read their Bible, pick up their Bible at least once a week. And that is beyond normal church services. Only 24% of Americans pick up their Bible at least once a week. And that is beyond normal church services. The statistics get worse. Only 39%, only 39% say that they use their Bible three or more times in a year. Only 39%, less than 40%, they say that they pick up their Bibles, they read their Bibles only three or more times in a year. And this is the lowest number in the entire 13-year history of this study. 24% read their Bible at least once a week, while 39% only use their Bible, they pick up their Bible, they read their Bible three or more times in a year. But when we read Joshua 1, what we are seeing here in the study is in direct contrast to what God commands Joshua to do. God tells Joshua what? Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it, what? Day and night. Not once a week, not three times a year. Meditate upon this word day and night. Why? So that you may be careful to do everything written in it. The only way we can walk in accordance to the word of God is by constantly being in the word of God so that we can know the will of God. So if only 24% of Americans are reading their Bibles weekly, if only 39% only read their Bibles three or more times in a year, and we can actually extrapolate the same numbers on a global level, it is no surprise that the modern church, today's church, is in the condition that we find it in. It's no surprise that we are in the condition as a modern church that we are in today. Because if we cannot make the time to read the Word of God, to communicate with God, how much more prayer? How can we make the time to pray? And what we fail to realize is that reading the Word of God is hearing from God. That's why the Lord has given us His Word. That's why He's gone through the trouble to give us His Word. In His omnipotence, He realizes that all that we need to navigate this life, to walk with Him, is found in this Word. So if he's giving us this word and we're not reading the word, 
It means that we cannot hear from the Lord or we're not interested in hearing from the Lord. And if we're not praying, prayer is speaking back to God. So if we're not hearing from the Lord, if we're not praying to the Lord, we cannot have a relationship with the Lord because a relationship is a two-way street. Relationship is based on communication. It's based on hearing, speaking, and acting. If there's no communication, there is no relationship. The number one reason amongst those that were bold that they gave for not spending enough time reading the, the Bibles was this, the lack of time. The number one reason they gave for not spending time in the Word of God was the lack of time. Think about that for a minute. The lack of time was the reason that they gave for not being able to spend more time in the Word of God. 